Okay, so last night, Balenciaga was getting dragged on Twitter for what appears to be a subliminal message in one of their latest campaigns. The campaign in question is their objects line which features a bunch of different Balenciaga home goods such as soap, tea bags, coffee cups, doormats, dog bowls, and a bunch of other stuff you might need for your house. But the issue here isn't the items in the collection, it's actually the lookbook shot by this guy right here. As you can see throughout these photos, Balenciaga used children to represent this collection with a few of them holding a very suspicious looking teddy bear. And as if children holding a BDSM teddy bear doesn't raise enough suspicion already, there was a Balenciaga bag amongst scattered papers with a secret court document hidden beneath. And it wasn't long before Twitter detectives figured out what exactly this court document was. And you gotta give them props because even though it's hard to read, if you zoom in, you can tell that this is the Ashcroft vs. Free Speech Coalition case from 2002. And if you're not familiar with the case, let's just go ahead and break it down really quick. So it turns out that the main point of this case was about the depiction of child not actual but just a depiction of it. Originally, back in 1977, the government had banned anything that appears to be or conveys the impression of a minor engaging in sexually explicit conduct. In 2002, Congress looked to expand upon this ban and wanted to outlaw the use of virtual children in The reason for doing so was that Congress was concerned about the growth of computer technology in the internet and therefore wanted to protect children and ban any and everything that depicted child even if no children or humans for that matter were involved in the act. They believed that virtual children could encourage actual children to partake in sexual activities and that might use this virtual material to whet their own sexual appetites and thereby increase the creation and distribution of child which could ultimately lead to the abuse and exploitation of actual children. So in 2002, when Congress looked to protect these children, the Free Speech Coalition challenged them. The Free Speech Coalition is a California trade association for the adult entertainment industry and they believe that this overreaching ban would significantly hurt their business as many of their films teeter on the line of teenage even though no children are used. And in the end, the Free Speech Coalition won this case as Congress concluded that their new ban would prohibit free speech despite its seriousness. As you can imagine, Balenciaga is now under extreme fire as this photo from their lookbook seems to be supporting the Free Speech Coalition and their right to depict child Balenciaga even removed all traces of the content from their Instagram, though photos still remain on their website. So this leaves us with two options. Is this just a coincidence? Did Balenciaga not realize that they had this court document in the stack of papers they used for this photo shoot? Or as one Twitter user put it, was this done on purpose by someone from the inside trying to send us a message about the dark side of Balenciaga that we don't know about? Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll keep you posted on further information.